Well, 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 well. A bit of breaking news in the last hour or so. I just thought it'd be just good to cover it for the channel. Um, but um, Manchester United appoint football and technical directors. Now, to be honest, this came completely out of nowhere. I know we've been talking about appointing a director of football um, or football director um, for quite some time now. Um, so this was very much a surprise. And I'm going to start positive um, so I think positive is, is the start. It does show you that Manchester United were thinking about it. It probably goes to silence um, any other further talk regarding appointing the football technical football and technical directors, certainly football director of football. Um, so that's it. You know, um, you know, United have appointed um, a football director and a, and a technical director as well. You know, that it is what it is. Um, I think what people are talking about is whom they've appointed. And as you can see, the two people in the image are two people that have been at Manchester United, or certainly one of them, a guy on your left has been at Manchester United for quite some time. Um, Darren Fletcher, who most, more, more people will know, has just joined the club recently. Um, I don't know whether that was for the technical director role, um, but, you know, um, that's, I think, what people are talking about, because... As as the, and we'll start the, with the statement. Start the statement. I think it's good to just go for the statement. But Manchester United is pleased to announce the promotion of John Matar to football director and Dan Fletcher <coughs> to technical director. Two new roles that will further strengthen the club's football operations. Um, so this is essentially what the football director will do, according to the Manchester United website. John will have overall leadership and responsibility for the operations and strategy across all football functions. Reinforce the strong relations already in place. Okay. Um, this appointment builds on the work John has already undertaken in recent years. Like I said, he has been at the club for, I think, for about six, seven years from Everton. So he's not a new person that I think a lot of people wanted, maybe a bit new at some sort of revolution. Um, it seems that it's, you know, it seems that it's a bit um, evolution, progression. We'll see. Um, working closely with Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and the rest of the football staff to create the structures, um, processes and culture to deliver sustained success on the pitch. This has included successful overhauls of the club's academy and recruitment department. So I assume obviously that um, a lot of the young players coming through. Darren, obviously who we know, will work closely with John to our technical input and direction into all football and performance areas. He will focus on a coordinated and long-term approach to play and squad development, helping maintain integral between the academy and the first team, aligning with Manchester United's values and culture. As football director, John will work to day-to-day with Oli to align recruitment and offer strategy to ensure the first team has the best in-class operating support he needs to succeed. Well, if it's anything like the last seven years, certainly in the last two or three years under Oli, I'm not sure what's going to change. But, okay. Oli will continue his role in the recruitment process, supported by extensive scouting and data analysis following action that will continue to report to John. Matt Judge will also um, report to John. So that's a new thing, Matt Judge, with a new title of Director of Football Negotiations. Um, as you, as, is that negotiations with deals, recruitment? So Matt Judge will be our, our lead um, negotiator recruitment? Okay. Um, small snippet there, but Matt Judge. Okay, congratulations to Matt Judge. Edward Manson said, these are hugely important from Ed. These are hugely important appointments that reinforce the progress we have made, been making as a club in recent years in our relentless pursuit of success. Right. You spent 50, net spend of 40 million last summer for relentless pursuit of success. Okay. Um, already starting to sound like Arsenal here. We have already made, and actually we spent less than Arsenal, but anyway, net spend. We have already made great strides forward in the way we run our football operations and benefits the surgeons, department, academy talent, which we're not really seeing a lot of. Engine at first team and through our improved recruitment record, John has been integral to our progress in all this area and is even center development and ensure the club should bring in young players through and first team will continue. The new position is a natural evolution, obviously, that of, of the hardest these requirements of his last week experience of the game. He go on to talk about Darren's Premier League and Champions League achievements, his communication and contribute to the philosophy. Um, and I'm delighted with John and Darren and obviously with their success, obviously. And to be honest, you know, to end on a positive, on a positive, you know, I'm I'm you know. You know, for anyone on special news, I wish them both of them all the best in the new roles at Manchester United. We have to be positive um, and encourage that they that they they both clearly have a love for Manchester United, and that that hopefully both will um, do a good job. And I think what this also does, I mean, we don't know how much 
input Edward Word is going to have. I it's still think it looks like he might be liaison with Edward Wood. So whether this means Edward was going to relinquish his control regarding negotiations um, and uh, and football input remains to be seen. But it also does mean that now the responsibility um, um, of, you know, getting Manchester United back where it should be, competing with trophies, getting significant signings falls on his shoulders. Um, and... As we've seen from Arsenal, I mean, yes, I think it's great report a direct four point and shows that we can we'll always look for one. Um, as we've seen at Arsenal Football Club, just because you're pointing direct football, especially people that you know, doesn't mean it'll necessarily work out. Um, hopefully it does in our case. Um, but this these signings show in quotes evolution. Um, as I said, not revolution, not change. This is going to be more of the same. So are we really going to expect more uh, any change really for Manchester? I think it certainly solidifies the direction that Manchester United are going in right now, which in my opinion is a top four club. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. And that's the thing. We'll see in the summer. We'll see in the summer because if this, if this is, if they're really going to say, right, full reign, go, here's the money, cash, go. We will see what happens in the summer. Um, but I'm a bit worried about this. Um, and not because I think these guys are, are blue about job, but I just think that it might be a situation where these guys are puppets for Edward Wood, you know, yet people who could just go along. What I would say, and I said I, put, I posted obviously a video on the channel a while back, is that given the mention of Ollie so much in this report, it pretty much, I think that this pretty much confirms, I won't be surprised in the next few weeks that we get confirmation Oli gets a new contract. I think this pretty much confirms Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is going to get a new contract because I don't think he would put it out there um, that you're hiring these people to help Oli Gunnar Solskjaer the future of his club if you're not thinking of a new contract for this manager. So, you know, you could maybe put a breaking on that as well. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this news. Are you excited? Are you disappointed? Where do you see Manchester United going? Would you think it would be more of the same? Remember to like, comment, subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash the notification button. Place Manchester United News. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.